Hello friends, welcome back. It is Thursday. We got back from Florida on Tuesday afternoon. We left Monday night, drove all night, and got home about 3.30 on Tuesday. Um, it took us 19 hours to get home. So it was supposed to take us 16 hours, so between stops and everything like that, it added three hours, um, which isn't bad considering the last time it was supposed to take us 18 hours and it took us 23. But we also had some car sickness on the way there and just several other things. So either way, we made it home. We had um, an inspection on the house done yesterday. We have an inspection being done today. Um, and so yesterday we went into town and we, hello baby Caleb, hello. He's snacking on these things that I found at Walmart. I've never seen these before, ever. They're probably not the greatest thing, but you know what? It's something fun. So we went to um, town yesterday and we rented our storage unit um, that we need to put all of our house in. Um, and we needed to pick a size so that we know how much we need to downsize everything. Um, and yeah, so did that, went to Bible study, did a few other things, and I also ran to the grocery store. Um, because we sold the house, I need to do a lot of pantry cooking because I have like a full pantry and stuff like that. So this is like basic necessities um, for fresh fruits and veggies pretty much because I like to have fresh fruits and veggies. So um, we were about two minutes into putting things away and we realized to do this. <laughs> he walked in and I'm like, you and Emily, you just always walk in when I'm doing this and then you don't want to be on camera and so <laughs> He made that face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making coffee. <laughs> He's making coffee. <laughs> you know, people, you get a good reaction. <laughs> people say they like when you're in the videos. They say you're a nice guy. <laughs> I like the people. It's, he's not that cranky, honestly. He just has a very serious face. <laughs> not like Pepe Caleb. Baby Caleb doesn't have a cranky face. That's a mess. Those things are a mess. <laughs> so, Emlyn and I got like two minutes into putting this away. I was like, oh wait, I didn't do one last time because I was not in the mood. And she was like, oh, well, you just haven't been doing them. So I just started putting away. I'm like, okay, I didn't do it one time. And now I just, it's just always drama. So, flip around. You may have noticed that something changed. Braxton bought me a lime green apron at Williams Sonoma while we were in Florida. He bought me uh, an apron, when was it? I, there was an occasion that he bought me an apron and I don't remember why, but it was, it, it ended up, he wanted it to be canvas like this and he wanted it to be this color because it's my favorite color, but he couldn't find it. And he ended up getting me this like green, it was almost leather and it was just too heavy. Caleb, you're glory seeking, Caleb. Uh, <laughs> um, so we were walking in the mall in Sarasota and he walked by, he saw this and he's like, immediately he went in to get it. And it was only like $25 and I've never been to a Williams Sonoma but it looked like it would be my favorite store ever. So I didn't go because I didn't want to spend any money because I need to downsize my life at the moment. Do you want me to show this? Yeah. He put these here because this is something else we found in Florida. Just bottled Chick-fil-A sauce and Polynesian. Have you ever seen that, that, that video where the guy is rapping and he's, he's talking about dipping and dabbing Polynesian sauce? And he was talking about how, you know, you don't have to pray because they had a Bible study in the back. They already pray for you. Did you ever see that? It's a good, it's a good video. But anyways, we found these at Publix. They were like three bucks a piece. We didn't know if we could find it in Illinois, so we bought a bottle of each. I looked at Walmart yesterday, didn't see it. But 
that doesn't mean that somebody else in the town doesn't carry it. So either way, Chick-fil-A sauce. I have a bunch of red bag Aldi chicken that we need to eat and I'm going to put that Chick-fil-A sauce on it and it's probably gonna be the bomb.com to be honest. So <laughs> I don't know if you can hear Braxton, but he's over here just making coffee laughing at me. Um, so yeah, my new apron that'll go on the RV. It's already got Remember the proceeds go to somebody. Oh yeah, the all donated the, to 100% of the proceeds from buying this goes to their team member scholarships with whatever. I'll buy hundreds of bottles of this stuff and give it to your team members. It's fine. Just make it rain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna stop. We're gonna flip around and do the food. We're gonna do that. Sorry guys. Caleb, it can't. <laughs> Caleb, it cannot always be about you, Bobby. It can't. That is a messy snack. That is a messy, messy snack. Okay, so like I said, this is not nicely organized because Emmeline and I realized, oh man, we need to do this. So I bought a variety. Caleb! Caleb! You're being a distraction. <laughs> so I bought a variety of these Gerber toddler meals because Caleb is, for the most part, eating table food very well. He loves to eat. I don't know if you can tell by these chunky little legs, but the kid loves to eat. And so some days, literally keeps screaming every time the camera is not looking at him. <laughs> Okay, so I bought a variety of these because sometimes I make lunch for myself and I make like a salad or I make a wrap and that's not something that he'll eat. Um, so I bought these to have on hand for lunch um, while we're moving and packing and everything like that, that these would just be easy to feed him a quick lunch. I got him some melts because the kid loves snacks. They had these too. I remember when they started making these like 10 years ago when Emmeline, my oldest, was a baby. Like I thought these were the coolest thing ever. Um, yeah, that's how old I am. These, you need to stop. I got these mealtime harvest bowls. They looked pretty cool to try. And more snacks more snacks and then these are expensive like this was like four dollars for this box but it's date and carrot with oats and chia we saw these at florida in Publix, and we bought them and he loves them and they're really yummy and i could probably try to make these on my own when i'm not extremely busy and that probably is what i'll do but these are super cool i got a loaf of sliced french bread to make bruschetta um got tomatoes here somewhere this is the sign that i'm busy i normally don't buy stuff like this um but the kids need something quick and easy for breakfast while we're packing the house so i got french toast sticks and blueberry waffles caleb can eat both of those this is that thing caleb's eating right now i've never seen these before they're new i don't know he seems to be enjoying it even though he's screaming at me um, got some coffee creamer. Um, Braxton's grandma had this and I really enjoyed it with my coffee. So I just got a little bottle. Um, I got four limes so that we can make some chicken tacos, string cheese, because this is like Lucas's go-to snack. Every time he's like feeling hungry, he's going through a growth spurt. And so every time he wants a snack, he usually grabs a string cheese. Braxton wanted some special cheese. He said that he wanted like some good deli cheese. So I got Colby Pepper Jack and Gouda. Um, got some grapes, some mandarin oranges, and I did get this bag of potatoes, but we had already put that away. I got two dozen eggs, a bag of honey crisp apples, a bag of pears, two bunches of asparagus. I love to cut this up, put extra virgin olive oil in it season it up and throw it in my air fryer until it's crispy. Um, super yummy. 
um, got some deli meat because we had none. This is Lucas's favorite. I love this kind too. I love to just snack on this. Um, it's this Lando Frost chicken. I got two bags of that. I got some ham. I also got some sun-dried um, turkey breast. If you have this at your Walmart, get it. It's super good. I got these little bottles of Dr. Pepper. I had already opened one. Um, I can't find Diet Dr. Pepper in cans anywhere. I couldn't find it in Florida. I can't find it in Illinois. I don't know what's going on. Are they, are they changing Diet Dr. Pepper to Dr. Pepper Zero? I don't know. I would like for somebody to have some information on this. I got some romaine lettuce um, for salads, wraps, BLTs, all that kind of fun stuff. A thing of strawberries. There's those tomatoes. I'm going to cut these up and make bruschetta. Um, and usually what I do when I do this is I'll grill up some chicken, serve the bruschetta with the Italian bread, and it's just so good. Got some onions just because lots of recipes that I use call for onions. I usually keep one box of hamburger helper on hand for nights that I just can't. And we just used up ours the other night. I like to make this. Um, I cook it up. I put um, jalapeno bacon with my hamburger. And then I add frozen peas to cook at the same time. My mom always put peas in it when I was growing up. That's my favorite way to eat it. The jalapeno bacon and the bacon grease makes it a little spicy and it's just so good. Um, I got some Pop-Tarts because we, ooh, sorry. We ran out of Pop-Tarts and I like to snack on Pop-Tarts and so does Lucas. I would never buy this, ever. I saw this at Sam's Club and I didn't want to buy three boxes of it. So I bought this with the intention that the girls could make breakfast one morning together because all they need to do is add water to it. And Emily's like, mom, this says it's artificially flavored. You would never buy this. And she is so right. This reminds me of when I was a kid, when they made um, the ketchup purple and green and like all those fun colors. This is what this reminded me of. And I said to the girl in the aisle, I was like, do you remember when ketchup was like purple and green? I was like, this reminds me of that. And she looked at me like really serious under her mask. And she was like, I'm only 17. And I was like, oh, okay, sorry. This reminds me of that. So I also got the pancake mix. And I also got a bag. It was like, I got a variety of steamable frozen vegetables. Um, I usually serve one of those every night with dinner. Um, I got peas and carrots, regular peas, corn, and green beans. I got three bags of each. Emmeline had already taken those down to the deep freezer um, and I didn't wanna drag those back up. So really bare things, this is supposed to last I'm going to try to make this last for two weeks. Um, the total was $140, um, which is not bad. Um, oh, I also got a gallon of milk, but that's put away. My Walmart had no bread. They're remodeling. Did you drop your thing? Where did it go? Oh, I see it. I see it. Ew. Dear. Dear. Um, my Walmart had no bread. None whatsoever. So I have some bread in the freezer. I'll pull that out, but I was gonna get some bread for my mom. So my Walmart's remodeling, so I don't know. They had the bread aisle blocked off. It was super weird. Anywho, it was $140 for all this. My hope is, is that it will last for two weeks. As we um, do pantry cooking, you'll notice that I really didn't get anything for recipes because I have, um, I have this full cabinet of food. I also have my um, my like dry pantry area, which is right there. I have like my overflow room and I need to start cooking through this food and building off of what I have. And then what I don't use, I will either take it to my mom's house and we will use it while we're there for a month or I'll give some of it to my friends. Either way, I need to cook this food. And I see that I have pineapple slices and I think I wanna make a pineapple upside down cake today. So, I mean, I've got the apron on, why not? So, this was a crazy video. Hope it entertained you. Um, life is crazy. 
Um, I'm going to not do, I'm gonna do a what we're eating video, but I'm not gonna do three meals a day. It's just too much. So I'm gonna do um, my friend Tiffany over at um, our small town life. I noticed yesterday that she put out a video that I'm actually getting ready to watch called what we're eating dinners. And I liked that, so I'm gonna copy. And I'm just gonna show you what we eat for dinner and how I'm doing this pantry cooking. Now, if I make something for lunch that's super cool out of the pantry, then I'll probably throw that in. But usually for lunches, we just do wraps or salads or um, sandwiches and things like that. For breakfast, my kids self-serve. They can do oatmeal, cereal, yogurt, those kinds of things. I got these frozen waffles. My kids can make these cinnamon toast sticks and the waffles on their own. Um, I generally don't eat breakfast and neither does Braxton except for on Saturdays when I get up and I make a big breakfast. So that is that. Um, Thanks for stopping by. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button. Um, and if you would like to see more videos like this as we transition into selling our home and going into full-time RV life, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, and yeah, that's all I can think of today. So thanks for stopping by.